Welcome Ranjini Sharma for Trinity Mirror News. The headlines. New railway timetable draws plaque from passengers in Delta. 14 Tamil Nadu fishermen were arrested by Sri Lankan Navy. 22 dead in NTPC power plant blast, toll likely to increase. Olympic bronze medalist Gagan Narang won a silver medal in the men's 50-meter rifle-prone event of the Commonwealth Shooting Championships. News in detail. New railway timetable draws flag from passengers in Delta. Rail users, commuters and the public in the Delta region showed mixed signals mostly read to the new railway timetable. The timetable presents a mixed bag for the mainline passengers. Introduction of two fully unreserved Antyodhya Express trains between Thambaram and Sengota as also between Thambaram and Thirunalveli is a boon to last-minute schedulers and the lesser privileged. Advancing the departure timing of all trains operated via main line, facilitating late arrival of cord line trains at Trichy is said to trouble passengers in the Delta region. The commuters in the Tanjavur region are also showed that their precedent, persistent demand for Tanjavur Salem and Tanjavur Virupuram services has not been met by the railways in the new schedule. 14 Tamil Nadu fishermen were arrested by the Sri Lankan Navy. 14 Tamil Nadu fishermen were arrested by the Sri Lankan Navy when they were allegedly fishing near Nedutivu in the island nation waters. Assistant Directors of Fisheries Department Manigandan said that the fishermen from here and Pudu Pudukote district were arrested on charges of poaching fish with banned fishing nets in the exclusive zone of Sri Lanka. The naval personnel also seized three mechanized boats and took them to uh, Kangesanturai Kange port there. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister K. Swami has urged the centre to take steps to secure the release of 54 fishermen and 140 fishing boats from Sri Lanka. Karekal celebrates Liberation Day, Freedom Fighters Honoured. An uh, impressive march and cultural programs by students mark Puducherry Liberation Day at Karekal. Puducherry Agriculture Minister R. Kamalakannan hoisted the national flag and inspected the God of Honor presented by police personnel and school students. Mr. Kamalakannan later honored freedom fighters in the presence of District Collector R. K. Seven and Senior Superintendent of Police V. J. Chandran. The minister also presented a award to the student team from SRVC school in recognition of their performance in March past and cultural programs. 22 dead in NTPC power plant blast toll likely to increase. The death toll in NTPC power plant explosion went up to 22. Few are still feared trapped inside the coal-fired plant. Rebareli District Magistrate Sanjay Kumar said that 22 cash uh, casualty still now while 66 people injured. Rescue operations by NDRF underway. An explosion ripped a boiler in NTPC's Unchahar plant in Uttar Pradesh Rebreli district. Scores of people inside the premises suffered severe burn injuries. More than 150 ambulances were pressed into relief and rescue work that was affected by a huge ball of dust that rose after the 500 megawatt boiler exploded. Country dogs to get into army for the first time. The dogs were sent to the RVC center last year from Karnataka and have been undergoing intensive training since then. The most important aspect was building the bond between the trainer and the dog to understand the animal's behavior. Moodle Horn is a recognized Indian breed with a strong lineage. In a first of its kind behind you and Indian canine breed is being trained for induction into the army which has been using foreign breeds like German Shepherds, Labradors and Great Swiss Mountain Dogs till now. Sources said that the army's remote and veterinary corps center in Meerut has almost completed training six dogs of the Desi breed Mudal Horns and they are likely to be inducted by the end of this year and posted in Jammu and Kashmir. The police has arrested six persons in connection with the killing of a 28-year-old man at a locality in the district of Ambarnath Township. 
Senior Inspector Jairaj Rana was said that the six accused allegedly attacked the victim with iron rods and other sharp weapons over some old dispute. The victim, who sustained multiple wounds, was admitted to a hospital where he died last evening. Meanwhile, acting on a tip-off, the police team raided an apartment in Ambarnath where the six accused were hiding and nabbed them. The accused included two civil engineers, an architect and three history sheeters. A case under relevant sections for murder was registered against them. We'll resume back after a short break. Hmm, what color shirt should you wear? Varun, you have a shirt. You have a shirt ready. Sister, first impression, best impression. Then, choose a Ram Raj white shirt. You can choose a lot. Easy to impress. Come on, come on. ஐயாய் 466 million dollar with RIL shares soaring 1.22% to rupees 952.30 apiece during the day the stock had jumped 1.76% to rupees 957.40 on nse the company stock rose by 1.24% to close at rupees 952.55 Forbes real time billionaires is based on the value of person stock holding and assets on a real time basis with a total wealth of 42.1 billion dollar ambani's rank was at the 14th spot on Forbes real time billionaires list while huka yon's wealth slumped by 1.28 billion dollar to 40.6 billion Kiran Bedi props road tax racket moving against what she calls the unethical and illegal practice of registration of luxury vehicles in Puducherry by owners who are not residents of the union territory lieutenant governor kiran bedi has ordered a prop saying the rich and famous have been forging local addresses for registration of vehicle worth crores to save a few lakhs in road tax and in the line of fire a celebrities and politicians including malayalam film actor turned politician suresh gopi bjp leader and rajya sabha member and amla pal who got their vehicle registered in puducherry using local addresses statistical highlights of india new zealand first t20 international statistical analysis of the first t20 international between india and new zealand having lost the previous five matches to new zealand india recorded their first win against them in six matches in t20 internationals winning 16.66 percentage for the first time new zealand could not get a wicket of their opponent in the first 10 overs while bowling first in t20 internationals trent bowl has conceded most run in this four over spell in t20 internationals olympic bronze medalist gagan narang won a silver medal in the men's 50 meter rifle prone event of the commonwealth shooting championships Another Indian Swapnil Suresh Kushal bagged the bronze in the same event while Dane Sampson of Australia won the gold. In women's 25 meter pistol final, India's Snuraj Singh won the bronze while the gold and silver went to host countries Yel Yom Luske and E Gelia Bewich respectively. India had claimed five medals including two gold. Indian pistol shooters pulled off a clean sweep in the 10 meter air pistol event with Shashar Rizvi, Omkar Singh and Jitu Rai winning gold, silver and bronze medals respectively. In the women's 10 meter air rifle event, Pooja Gadkar bagged a gold while her country made Anjum Maugil won the silver medal. India women storm into Asia Cup hockey semi-finals. Riding on a hat trick by Ratwickler Gurjit Kaur, India's women's hockey team thrashed Kazakhstan 7 for 1 in the quarter final to enter the last four of the 2017 Asia Cup being held in Kakamigara, Japan. 
Kurjit opened India scoring in the fourth minute when she brought her team level at one for one after the Kaka surprisingly took lead in the second minute through Vera Domasneva's strike. India are so far unbeaten in the tournament, having finished the pool stage on top with wins against Singapore 10 for 0, China 4 for 1, and Malaysia 2 for 0. India's opponents in the semis will be known after the other quarterfinals conclude. That's it for the news bulletins. Thank you. Have a nice day.